back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make these pencils uh uh this exaggerated ruffle sleeve puffy sleeve with a pencil bottom that is called like a g cut sleeve so the first thing i'm going to do is you're going to go ahead and cut out your long sleeve i'm going to show you guys two methods one method is um going to be like if you have enough fabric to work with the second method is going to be if you're working with less amount of fabric so uh, this first one here what you're going to do is just cut out your long sleeve i'm going to still make a tutorial on how to cut a long sleeve just cut out your long sleeve and then what you're going to do is to measure from your shoulder uh, sorry from the top part here to your elbow so let's say your elbow is somewhere here but it's normally like about 14 or 13 somewhere around there so you mark that in here and then the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead this is just an illustration that's why mine is this small but it's basically the same thing so you're going to go ahead and measure around this part of your sleeve and figure out what you have here so for me i have here eight so time you're going to multiply it by two because once you open this up now it's times two right if you open it up this way and measure it, you're measuring for the two sides. But when it's folded, you're just measuring for one side. So that's why I multiply it by two because it's on four, two sides. So that's going to be like, let's say it's going to be 16 for me. So you're going to measure yours. And then after measuring it, you're going to get the fabric that you're using to cut it. So this is what I'm going to be using here is square. You're going to fold it first one and then you're going to fold it again into two and then that measurement that you got from this top part for me that was 16 you're going to divide that 16 by 6.28 is what you're going to use to cut it like the same constant you're going to use it for everybody this is this 6.28 is normally used whenever you're cutting a circle right so for me it's 16 16 is what i'm using divided for me i got about 2.5 right so 2.5 almost 2.6 so that's what i'm going to use for the top part of my circle right so i'm going to just mark that here all the way around so you're going to after folding it right so you see you folded it once you folded it again and then you fold it this way so your measurement is going to come from this point here so i'm going to just put in that 2.6 all the way round here so guys, the next thing you're going to calculate is from your shoulder to the length you want this puffy sleeve to be. So let's say you want, whatever you want yours to be, because mine, if I measure from this part to this, I have seven. So this seven now that you have, which is from your shoulder to that, your elbow length, you're going to add about five inches to it. So what you need now is seven plus extra five inches. This five inches is because when you're making a puffy sleeve, remember, you don't make, you don't make the fabric like straight. You need to add so that the fabric can be puffy this way. I'm talking about the length. You don't make it like straight. If instead it's going to just... It's, it will not have that puffiness so you need to add extra so that it gives it that room and balloon effect so you're going to add extra five inches so let's say you're working with seven plus five that's going to be about so guys that means i'm going to be needing 12 x and um, 12 inches full for my circle so you're going to measure but this fabric here is just a sample it's not going to be enough but remember you're going to whatever length you're working with just measure out and make sure that your fabric so for me that's 12 make sure that your fabric can contain that extra 12 inches so for me that's going to be somewhere here my fabric square is supposed to extend all the way to this point so that this so let's say this is where my 12 inches fits in and then remember you still have extra 2.5 that you marked here so you're going to that that my 2.5 if i add it so that means my fabric needs to be 15 inches of width it needs to be that wide 15 inches of width because remember i'm going to place my tape back at this point when i go to put in that measurement so that's why you need to measure yours before you fold the fabric so that you know how much you need to fold so now i'm going to go ahead and just cut mine because my fabric is not enough i'm going just going to use 10 inches but i, I guess you guys understand what i mean so guys down after that you cut out the excess and then you go ahead and cut out the, the top part here so i'm going to cut this part out so you see now after this now you're going to have a full circle right if i open it up now you, you're going to have a full circle so i'm going to split it open at one end just split it open straight at one end here so now this here the way it is now i'm going to take take it here open up my sleeve i'm going to extend this line so that i know where my line is so i'm going to extend this here so i know where my line is 
the line of my elbow remember this is the line of my shoulder to my elbow then you're going to open up the sleeve this method can also help you to use a different color of fabric when you're working with it so you're going to go ahead and just start gathering this into this part here so so guys remember this is the right side of my fabric right but you're going to do it this way so this is what you're going to do this is the wrong side of my fabric this is the right side of this so you're going to take this here gather it into this part here get it all the way to the end so that when you are done you pull it up this way you see what i'm saying so you're going to take it now and get it into this straight line all the way to the other end of it so guys as you can see i've joined it here this is the good thing about this method is that inside of your sleeve you still don't have any stitch that will maybe make you uncomfortable so you see this stitch is inside here and this is the wrong side this is still the right side like the front of the fabric so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this part here and you're going to take it and join it to the sh this shoulder like this this top part here you're going to take it and join it down all the way through to the end right so that's what you're going to do so guys as you can see i've also joined the top part to the top of the sleeve so as you can see this is it here so the next thing i'm going to do is this this sides of the sleeve you're going to just take it and sew it down in a straight line just push it down this way and sew it down because if you see it looks like this at the moment so pull it down a little so just go down here and just sew it this way so this is what it looks like here so you're going to just go down pull it down to this part here and sew it this is just to hold it down at the two ends so you're going to do the same thing on this side you see how it is here pull it down to the end here and sew it so this is what the two sides will look like right and then when you're done sewing it down this way you're going to pull it together this way and close the arm close it down this way and then just just make a stitch all the way to the end of your sleeve fold your sleeve and join the shoulder so guys as you can see i've closed it down here if you so this is what it looks like so let me flip it now you're going to take this opening here and fix it into your sleeve you see so let's flip the right side and see what it looks like remember this is supposed to be a long sleeve but this is just an illustration and you see how puffy my own is now so this is what it looks like here so you see this is what it looks like so you see the puffiness don't forget to add your five inches so that you can get this puffiness here is if you don't add that five inches and just use your shoulder to your elbow this is what your own will look like straight like this it will have like this effect here so don't forget to add that five inches here so you see this is it here so now we'll move over to the second method of if you don't have enough fabric so guys this is also the same thing we did when we cut our puffy sleeve the circle method and then the square method this square method is just the same thing so you're going to take your fabric here you're going to fold it into two and then you're going to measure from your shoulder to your elbow right you already have the length so what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead on your own fabric here you're going to add seven inches right but since this is just like me making an illustration so just add seven inches come in seven inches this way and then on this smaller part that is remaining here you can do six inches if you don't want too much puffiness you can do more than you can do even, even 10 inches if you're working with a smaller fabric a lighter fabric that will not give you enough puff then make it wider because this is the puffiness that we are working with here and then you're going to this part here is where you're fixing your sleeve so here now you're putting your armhole divided by two come down putting your sleeve cap sorry come down putting your sleeve cap just go ahead mark from this end to this end now you're drawing in your normal basic sleeve and then you're going to put it here put it here mark up and down and then this here is just your normal sleeve so all you have to do here is just to cut this out so basically what you're doing here is like so guys what i'm trying to explain here is just fold your fabric into two come in here by six or by seven inches or six inches or ten inches any amount of fabric that you need that you feel like will make your puffiness like big enough then you mark a straight line here after that straight line just act like you forget about this part and then from this remaining fabric here just go ahead and draw in your normal basic sleeve you understand so go ahead and put in your normal basic sleeve so let's say how you normally draw your basic sleeve divide your arm hole into two mark a straight line connect it this way from this point to this point mark a straight line curve this part and then curve this part up that's basically it so now you have this part here 
for your sleeve so remember this here is just the top balloon part we'll still go ahead and cut out this one here is going to be the bottom pencil part but remember to add also your extra like five inches for the puffiness to the length so for this one here you're going to be adding um seven inches for the width or ten inches for the width and then you're also going to be adding whatever length you decide to use. Let's say your shoulder to your elbow is like 11. Remember to add extra 5 inches or extra 4 inches to it. So that you can get this so This one here is giving you the width puffiness. But you also need the one extra 5 inches at the bottom to give you the bottom puffiness. If that makes sense. So you've added the one that will give you the width puffiness. But that extra 5 inches is what you're going to add to whatever length you have here to give you that length puffiness. So after that, what you're going to do, now we we'll finish cutting this top part. You're going to notch this part here. And then you're going to go ahead and cut out your the, from your elbow down to the end of your sleeve. Add about 3 inches extra to that. So that when you pull this up, it doesn't take up from your length. 1 inch is going to be for folding the end here, the end of your sleeve. And then the extra like 2 or 1 inch is going to be when you pull this this long sleeve part into your into this puffiness it takes up length so that you can still be able to retain the main length of your sleeve so now after that you see you're going to cut out your normal sleeve here and then this you're also going you're going to notch this end like how i notch this part here and then remember you're going to measure around this your elbow part if this is the part you're using measure around this part divided by two add one to it so let's say you divide it by two and you have ten you're going to add one inch to it which is going to be your seam allowance mark the same thing Me measure your wrist add um divided by two add one inch to it and then connect it that way is how you're going to cut this then you're going to open this up you've already notched the center here open it up this way notch you've notched it here and then this one you've already notched it halfway through and then place it this way and then gather everything together at this point so guys you see you're going to go ahead now that i've joined this here if you see you see where i joined it together and then this is it here so you're going to go ahead take this part here join it to your sleeve so let's say this is the sleeve where you're joining it here you're just going to so you see my armhole here let's say this is where you're joining it this is the center part of your shoulder you're just going to take the notched part of this because remember you're going to notch it halfway through also at the top and place it here and then take the end of your sleeve place it this way and then you're going to gather it into this part of the sleeve here and then when you're done you just go ahead and close up your side seam so when you're done you just go ahead and close this all the way up to the end See, I've joined this to the body, but remember with this one, there's no fabric holding it inside. So if you don't pull it up here, that five inches will elongate all the way down. So, but this part of the sleeve will help restrict it because it will just hold it down at this elbow part. So that's why I said to add inches because remember, you still have to pull this part up. So when you pull it up this way, it goes up like to your elbow or wherever you you marked it to be and then that way you will get that five inches puffiness but just remember this part here is still going to be pulled up a little bit when you're wearing it that's how this method works but the other method already has the, the length of your fabric inside so it won't it won't matter anyhow you do it so that's basically it. thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye